I had a little bit of discomfort, uh, but it, it was far better than I could even imagine it was going to be. Welcome to Dental Implant Talk, stories of real patients. My name's Emily. I am a smile maker at Nuvia Dental Implant Center. And today I'm joined with real dental implant patients who have undergone their own smile transformations. I know a big concern that people have when considering dental implants is the pain. So today I wanted to ask you all, what did your experience look like during and after the dental implant procedure? Did you encounter any pain or discomfort? What did that look like for you? My experience was um, I had all my teeth pulled, of course, and went home. I remember parts of going home, uh, that being the anesthesia that they gave me. Um, I went home, had the ice packs put on my face by my sweet wife, and I basically slept. Uh, when I woke up the next morning, um, my wife said I had some bruising on my face. I really couldn't see it. Excuse me, not bruising, some swelling. I had no bruising. I never had pain. I had a little bit of discomfort, uh, but it, it was far better than I could even imagine it was going to be. It was the best nap ever, definitely during. I didn't know anything that was going on when I woke up. Um, I felt okay, of course. I knew I had just had major dental surgery, but the pain, it was more of a discomfort than like pain. Um, also, I just stayed ahead of any type of pain um, with the medication that was prescribed. And so I, you know, I did have some swelling, no bruising, but I did have swelling. And in the moment, I, I didn't see it, but when I look back at pictures, I can see that I did look like a chip. So, <laughs> but it didn't like feel like, you know, sometimes when you feel like, oh my gosh, like, you know, you're swollen because you feel tight or something. I never felt like that, but, but the pain, it really wasn't a lot of pain. It was more discomfort. Um, and I think just wanting to be careful because you knew that you just had like teeth, um, taken out and implants placed in. So you just wanted to be careful with everything that you did with the bounce. Yeah. For me, I, I had a lot of like, for me, it, it wasn't much pain at all. I mean, you were asleep during, you know, the procedure and then you go back, you know, within 24 hours, you're sleeping most of the time until you go back. You know, when I went back, it, it's almost like a blur looking back, but, um, you know, there wasn't a lot of pain. Um, and, and they do give you the medications at first. The first couple of days, I didn't even need any of the medication. I think it wasn't until day three. Um, I did see a little bit of bruising and, and swelling and stuff, and I kind of felt it. But when I want to describe discomfort, it's more of like a a, a feeling that you're not used to more than pain because, um, you know, your mouth has been changed. You, the, the, the physical structure of your, your mouth with all the teeth being removed and the implants being put in it's a change. It's a very big change to have in such a small amount of time. So where you're like my tongue, it was like doing dances in my mouth, trying to fill everything. And, you know, my, it was like my, my brain instantly wanted to find a normalcy. So my tongue's trying to fill, okay, what's changed? What's normal? You know, where am I going to seat my jawline? You know, how am I going to, and those things just like instantaneously happen uh, all at once. And, and, and the discomfort, I think not until about day three, I started taking the, um, the pain medication that they gave me. And that helps a lot too. And it wasn't the fact that I needed it so bad. It was just the fact that I took it to prevent myself from feeling pain if it were to arise in, in such ways, you know. But that's kind of how I handled it. And it wasn't that bad. It is an, it's a surgery. Everything you have to heal from a surgery, you know. It's not like you're, you're just going to wake up the next morning and be healed. It is a little bit of a process, but it's not a bad process. It's not hard to deal with. I've had much worse toothaches than to deal with than I had to pain during, before, or after the procedure. Well, that's freaking awesome. So, wasn't anything like what I thought it was going to be. All, all the fear I had, uh, all that anxiety and stuff. It was all for naught. I can say, I've had it done and. 
I won't ever need it done again, but uh, if I had to do it again, I'd do it again. So, so Ricky, you brought up a good point about the anxiety and how, because I had like high anxiety before I was going in to surgery. It was like Lucille Ball cry and <laughs> terrified. But after surgery, it was like t after taking that nap, you me sleep and then you go back the next day and it's just like yes this is so cool i have a bite Arr. so yeah i like how you mentioned the anxiety because i had a whole lot of that because you don't know any different you know well, no if you're a listener you might be wondering if you're even a candidate for this procedure so to find out if you may be eligible for permanent teeth in 24 hours, you can take our 60 second quiz in the description below. So you faced your fears, went through surgery, got your new smile the next day. What did the recovery period look like? Whether you had bruising or swelling, when did that all start to go down? Well, for me, the bruising, I swelled up real cute, like the biggest little chipmunk that had teeth with all the nuts for the hibernation time. And then about day four, it all just started to go down. And um, literally 10 days after my surgery, I was on a plane for my very first adult girls trip. And, for, and um, my girlfriend and I went down to visit my other girlfriend in Arizona, you guys. And it was fantastic. So I was down there with them for four days. There was no pain it was really great to be able to be around and have tea not have to worry about them falling out or being stuck in something so yeah i didn't have a lot of pain good thing on your trip is you fit right in because you know even if they're eating steak in today's society you can order some kind of pasta dish or a soft fish and stuff and not look out of place yeah. Doesn't look like, oh my gosh, she just had something done. What's wrong? <laughs> that was a big thing. Like you just, you could just fit in with the rest of society, right? Had it done. The only difference was in your head of, do they notice? But they've made it to where you can do, be normal. You have to have a little precaution, but the precaution is no different than anything else in life. And you're able to feel confident and feel good about fitting in with whoever you're hanging out with wherever it makes a big difference well i didn't i i expected just to be able to have a bite you know and i was super excited the smile of design when they're like okay i didn't know what it was but they said you know what do you not like about your smile i don't like it so gummy can you fix that yeah we can fix that oh that's awesome okay what else can we do and then to be able to be porked in the next day and you can you can now chew the soft foods but i and i can smile pretty but i didn't expect to be this happy i didn't expect you know to be on a plane with my friend and and chitter chatter like like we're two little six-year-olds about everything under the sun and not even think twice about it and then meet up with our other friend and just it's such a feeling of freedom to not have to worry about it. And I never expected that. Did you guys expect that? Did, did you guys expect anything more than just to be able to chew and smile? That, that was just a great uh, acknowledgement because uh, before I couldn't chomp my teeth together. That The idea of doing that, they didn't fit that way. And so I noticed one day after I got my teeth, you'll hear this. I did this. <laughs> and my wife looked at me and said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm so excited that my teeth go together. I'm thrilled. I went online after I got my <laughs> new teeth and smiled and put a picture on Facebook. And I've had people that have known me for 30 and 40 years and Almost the every comment I got was, oh, gosh, I never knew you had a tooth problem. Uh, I don't think I ever remember seeing your teeth. And I said, of course not. <laughs> I never showed my teeth. If I smiled, uh, I didn't 
open my lips, and if I did, for some reason, I put my hand over my mouth. And so people I've known for 30, 40 years had never seen me smile. That was so exciting and such a blessing to, to have their response to that. So that was very cool. If you could give a piece of advice to someone who's listening who might be um, afraid or anxious um, about about the pain or discomfort, what would you tell them? Oh, wait, nothing compared to what she probably been through. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, the toothaches alone, the agony of of the infections and, and you know, the the hiding yourself and it, it, that is so much worse than going through the, the procedure. It's that what what we were dealing with in the past before Nubia, it was a darkness nobody should try to relish in. It's just so much better to have to be normal again, to feel confident and comfortable and be able to talk to somebody and look them in their eyes is a priceless feeling. It is. Agreed. Don't 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 hide from from being who you want to be, you know? It's worth it. I noticed that looking back on it, all the dental work I had, and I had, had twelve to fifteen root canals and and then, you know, I'd get a crown on those teeth and then the teeth would crack or the crown would crack and I'd have to go back. And the words I put on this was my dental experience was just a Band-Aid approach to a problem that, frankly, Nubia took care of in 24 hours. Mm-hmm. And for folks that haven't experienced the Nubia piece yet, that's the thrill for those of us that are Nubia patients. Because how many times do we go to the dentist, have something done, and then spent the next two or three or four days in pain? And really nothing changed. We just waited for the next bad tooth to show up. And Nuvia took care of that. That we're thrilled about. And even before, you know, when they go in, even the dentist was never really that excited to see you. But even though we're guarded and we were scared to walk through those doors and tuck, the Nubia staff made you feel, they made me feel comfortable. They made me feel welcomed. They made me feel like I was important. And then it was all about me, especially on surgery day with that high anxiety. The assistant was so excited for me. It made me a little bit excited instead of terrified afterward. You know, so I think that for people who are scared about the pain, about going into it, just take a look at what they've had to deal with in the past and know that if they choose Nubia for their journey, not only are they going to alleviate a lot of more pain from not having dentures on those sore gums every single day, but have the comfort of knowing that the staff really puts you as their number one priority. I think a lot of us, or at least I should say for me, I'm a cynic at heart. Uh, I just wait for whatever promise I get for the brick to fall, hit me in the head, and I go, see, I told you so. I knew this wasn't going to work. And so I carried that into Nubia. The issue was from the first meeting, Nubia just presented who they are. And through the whole process, I kept thinking, okay, now, now the brick's going to hit me because now it's going to happen. And I'm two years with these teeth now, and I've not had one option, one opportunity to go back to Nubia and say, see, I knew you guys (laughs) didn't have it. And, and as a cynic, that's, staggering to me that I've gone through an experience like this that I didn't think it existed. So for the folks that are nervous, anxious, fearful, we just want to encourage you so much to walk in the door and take part in this because we are all living proof from around the country that wherever we got this done, Nubia took care of us in a very similar fashion, which was we became a part of the Nubia family. 
To hear more life-changing stories, be sure to subscribe to Dental Implant Talk, Stories of Real Patients, and the link in the description below. And to connect directly with these patients and other Nuvia patients, click join on Nuvia Smile Maker Club on Facebook, also in the description below.